that makes a girl feel awfully good. <laughs> <laughs> so on the, on, at the beginning of the day. Everybody yes. loves Mary Poppins. And, yeah. and you know, yeah. Victor sound, Victoria, yeah, sound sound music, I mean, name it. Yeah. It's Including just, me, I'm the lucky yes. lady that was asked to do those yes. great things. Yes. You know? yes. Yes. And <laughs> you now are doing something that I, I've... Uh, Mm. I begged to be able to do. Uh, <laughs> What's that? I asked Illumination. I kept saying, I've said it over all of... See, I get so upset, my earrings fall out. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Despicable Me, mm -hmm. which I also wanted to do. But I'm not upset. No, <laughs> I'm really proud that it's you. Aww. Anyway, um... <laughs> That's a true friend, that isn't is it? That is, yeah. yeah. But you have been vocal in several areas about, you know, places you and the bit new guy might not agree, climate and nation's commitment oh. to the arts. And you and your daughter, Emma, wrote an amazing op-ed about why the arts, we need to have it. What, what yes. does he need to understand? <laughs> well, we only have a little bit. So. Yeah. <laughs> if you had about two hours, I'd tell you. No, the, the arts are indispensable to all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's this great Catherine Ann Porter quote, which is, um, I'll, I'll, I'll um, paraphrase. When all about you is lying in the dust, it will be the arts that will remind you who you were, who you are, and what matters, because they're always there. And, uh, you know, people who engage... <laughs> people who engage with the arts are better academically, they're, they're mm -hmm. more likely to read and read for pleasure as much as anything else. Mm -hmm. They could be elected to class office if you're in the arts. They, mm -hmm. There's just such a stimulation right. from it. And there are so many other, other things where the entire community benefits from it. Mm -hmm. I cannot see why they're taking money away when it's so needed. They're the first thing to be cut in schools. The yeah. budgets have to change, and so schools uh, cut the arts, which right. is very sad. It is mm -hmm. sad. There's been a lot of talk about the new Mary Poppins sequel with Emily Blunt. Mm -hmm. Did they come to you and talk to you about this? Um, there was talk about it, but I, uh, I knew that Emily was going to do it, and I'm a huge fan of hers. <laughs> and the truth is that this is not... Um, not a remake of the Mary Poppins that I was in. Yeah. This is, they've had these other Mary Poppins stories in the vaults for years. Yeah. Oh. And so they took them out and they've made a fresh new Mary Poppins, set the time a little differently, you yeah. know, it's a different era. Right. And Emily's Mary Poppins now, and I think it's great. Well, there's and that <laughs> wonderful story that uh, Emma Thompson just did about the author of yeah. Mary Poppins' story. Yes, yeah. she did a wonderful film about Mary that. Mary Travers. Travers. That should, everybody should take a look at that. Yeah. That's yeah, good. P.L. Travers is this... Yeah, she was a, quite a tartar. She really was. <laughs> and, a um, tart, did you say? A, quite a tartar. Not a oh, tart. A no, no. <laughs> 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 no, she was tough, let me put it that way. And nothing, nothing was right, and she wanted to tell Mr. Disney what to do, yeah, and yeah. oh, my goodness me. But everybody finally got along, Thank and you. I met her, and she was fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, Julie's Green Room is meant to teach kids about the importance of the arts. Uh, yes. They were influential on your life at a young age, and because of this, you're also very philanthropic. You're doing all kinds of stuff. Well, Yes, I think when you're somebody as, as lucky as I have been and am, that you have to give back, and mm -hmm. you should. And you, you, eventually in your life, you get... <laughs> you get to an age where you say, OK, I now know, I think, a little bit more about who I am and what I want to do, and then you can afford to start being more generous. And it always bothered me that I wasn't doing enough. Right. And so I started doing. Blake and I started an um, international... Blake Edwards. Blake, Blake Edwards, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 My <laughs> lovely husband. husband who's no longer with us. But he and I started an international relief agency called oh. Operation oh. USA. Yeah. And it is, it is one of the more... It, they, they, they don't charge overheads. They have very little outlay for an enormous input. And I'm so proud of them. They do work all over the world. Yeah. And so that's a very, very good group. Look it up, well, Operation Cal uh, USA. Well, I would love to talk about Despicable Me 3. You, um, you, you voice Gru's mother. 
Yes. And you're What are you laughing at? <laughs> no, she's this big. Yeah. Hair is all up in here. Yes. Is well, I, when they asked me to do it, I kept saying, are you sure you're talking to me? I'm the most... I'm the opposite of anything that you would imagine in real life. I'm so sort of horribly white bread and the voice <laughs> is so British and I'm supposed to be Gru's awful and mother. And you're kind of mean in it. I am well, we, we horribly mean. Horribly mean. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at it. It's delicious. It's such fun. <laughs> it's important to keep active in one's golden years. Oh, <laughs> there you are, you cutie you. Oh! <laughs> Uh, these are my diving instructors, Vincenzo and Paolo. <laughs> Ciao, boys. Uh, so, what do you want? Mom, do I have a twin brother? Ah, how did you find out? Who told you? Wait, what? It's true? You never told me I had a brother, and you told me that dad died of disappointment when I was born. <laughs> You do meme really well. I do meme. <laughs> oh, um, at the beginning, the, the two little orphans that he adopts, they say, this, he looks like a little girl in this photograph, doesn't he? And she, this awful woman, his mother says, yes, an ugly girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just heaven. delicious and heaven to just feel free and what, I, at my age, what do I got to lose? <laughs> Maybe it's cathartic. It is cathartic, yeah, and, and it's oh. delicious fun. You can't come here often enough. You just, you have to come back more and more. I'd be we, very happy to, my darling. Please do. <laughs> we thank, I need to see you all. Yes. Aww. We thank the legendary Julie Andrews. Despicable Me opens tomorrow. Tomorrow. And the soundtrack is available now. And you know what? You know what? You're all getting a soundtrack of me. You know what?